Howdy everyone, now I love my job testing out camera lenses for my subscribers but after doing 35-35mm lenses or 50-50mm lenses they can get a little samey, that's why I love it when manufacturers design something a bit different and over the years one company in particular seemed to have relished doing that whenever they can, so here's a list of some of the craziest Canon lenses they ever designed. You'll be able to find a little extra information and links to reviews down in the description below, as usual. Firstly on the list, if you enjoy a little light street photography now and then, or if you're looking for a lens to carry up and down mountains with you for some casual landscape shots, then look no further than this, the world's largest SLR camera lens, and its weight of only 100 kilograms or about 220 pounds will mean that the related medical bills from even trying to pick this thing up will put your chiropractor's children and grandchildren through college. This thing could be especially useful for wedding photography, I think. You could shoot the ceremony from your office a few miles away. Although it was almost certainly originally intended for astrophotography, or maybe defence work. With a field of view of only 0.5 degrees, this is probably the longest telephoto lens that was ever made commercially available. Reportedly, only three were ever made, with all the R&D it would have taken to develop, goodness knows what its original cost was back in the 1960s. It has a fixed aperture of f14, so due to diffraction, you'll be limited as to how much resolution it can truly offer you in your images, maybe 20 full frame megapixels, I can't be bothered to do the math right now, I'm sure someone else will down in the comments below though, and that's if the lens is actually sharp in the first place, catadioptric lenses do tend to be softer. It does have built in ND filters though, if you want to reduce the light coming in and make it even darker. And before anyone asks, no, I'm not planning to test this one out anytime soon, apart from its scarce availability and very high price whenever it does appear for sale, well, I'd need a forklift truck to get it into position for any and every picture I take, and I don't fancy having to explain that to a psychiatrist a few years down the line. Next up, a crazy Canon lens I've actually managed to test this time, as I had the unique opportunity to try out the brightest aperture 400mm lens ever made, and it's an absolute monster. It's possibly the only copy of this lens ever produced, serial number 8001, who knows? That front glass element is a huge 20 centimeters wide, and the out of focus backgrounds this thing can offer you are truly astonishing, although it was probably originally manufactured on special order for shooting photo finishes at horse races. At 11 kilograms, this is one of the heaviest lenses on this list, and with its simple tripod mount and manual focus mechanism, it's actually quite a pain to use. Its technical image quality was nothing to write home about either, being a pretty soft lens with strong colour fringing, but still, the look of its images are truly astonishing and unique, so anybody desperate to get some of the most compressed and out of focus backgrounds possible today might want to keep an eye out for this one, if any more copies of it actually exist anywhere, that is. Next, well, what happens when it's 1981 and the whole world wants autofocus, but your lens mount system is antiquated and your cameras can't handle it? Duh, just build an entire autofocus system, including triangulation sensors and a motor, and even a confirmation beep, into the camera lens itself. What the heck, Canon? You guys are crazy, just look at this thing. It requires AA batteries and an FD mount adapter to get it to work on whatever camera system you're shooting with. Also, you'll be lucky to find one that actually works properly nowadays, the autofocus is seriously hit and miss, and there's certainly no option for continuous autofocus or anything like that. Still, if you're into retro hardware, or if you simply appreciate the novelty value of a camera lens that can autofocus even when not attached to your camera, or if you're still using an old Canon FD film camera, <laughs> then track down one of these on eBay for a bit of crazy Canon retro fun. Next up, a lens commonly known as the Eye of Sauron, although not by me, I'm not really into Lord of the Rings. When Canon launched their shiny new EF lens mount system back in the late 1980s, its large size and autofocus capability was state of the art, eventually going on to win a lot of the professional market over from Nikon, and one of Canon's killer lenses for sports photographers was this monster, the brightest 200mm lens ever made. 
Oh my goodness, this was a fun lens for me to test out. Just look at it. Canon discontinued this lens a long time ago as the lead used in the production of its giant glass elements was not environmentally friendly and it was replaced by a slightly smaller 200mm f2 lens which is a little bit sharper and has image stabilisation. But if your camera has its own in-body image stabilisation then this lens will have you pirouetting in joy with its gorgeous out of focus backgrounds for portrait pictures and excellent capability for indoor sports photography. And for many years, the next lens on this list was the choice of affluent aperture junkies around the world. Canon continued to show off their new EF lens system by releasing this epic 50mm light sucking black hole of an optic, the EF 50mm f1.0 L. As the brightest aperture full frame autofocus lens ever made, this lens was about as state of the art for its time as it was incredibly expensive and Canon proudly displayed it in books and advertising materials as their flagship lens for years. Its second hand price on eBay seems to be coming down a little, probably helped by the emergence of cheaper manual focus 50mm lenses from China for those photographers who just want to experiment with an aperture as bright as f1 or f0.95. Also, Canon won't repair this lens anymore and considering even its manual focus is driven electronically by a focus motor, if it breaks down you're in big trouble. Its image quality problems are legendary, soft picture quality, crazy looking bokeh, rainbow flaring when confronted with bright lights and very strong vignetting, but just look at those pictures. And its autofocus works perfectly even when adapted onto a mirrorless Canon camera and shooting at f1.0 with autofocus really is a huge pleasure. Alright, next comes what could be the ultimate super telephoto lens. Not only is this thing's crazy focal length of 1200mm the stuff of legends, but having a maximum aperture of f5.6 there is truly astonishing, giving you acceptable shutter speeds for shooting sports and some of the most out of focus backgrounds it's possible to get on any camera lens available. I haven't been able to get hold of one of these incredible lenses for testing yet, so here are some pictures from my review of its younger brother, the also incredible RF 1200mm f8. Now the small number of the old f5.6 lenses that exist in the world were originally manufactured by special order for Canon's older FD mount cameras, before being upgraded to autofocus EF mount and put back on the market for a few years in 1993. Canon only made two of these per year and the lens is long discontinued now, meaning their prices have skyrocketed. Back in 2021, one went to auction and a bidding war erupted, leading it to sell for a ridiculous 500,000 euro. Well, I hope whoever bought it is having fun with it now because I can tell you from experience with a similarly monstrous lens that trying to handle an optic that weighs 16 kilograms is nothing but a pain in the neck. I'd rather have that new RF 1200mm f8 lens any day, which is actually hand holdable and considerably less money. And the newest lens on this list is another RF concoction from Canon. Traditionally in the past, zoom lenses were hardly well known for having the brightest maximum apertures or being competitively sharp, well, this rather gigantic and expensive Canon optic totally broke that mould forever and was the subject of conversation and admiration among photographers for absolutely ages when it was announced. Canon just seemed to love launching crazy lenses whenever they bring out a new camera system. The only thing I didn't like about this lens was its focus breathing. Focus closely to your subject and the image zooms out quite a lot, which is a disappointment when your zoom lens only reaches 70mm in the first place. Oh, and its heavy weight and large size make it pretty cumbersome and attention grabbing, but the convenience of having f2 across the entire zoom range is a lot of fun and could be genuinely useful for some photographers, well, those with deep pockets anyway. So that was fun, diving into a bit of lens history. What do you think of my list? There are one or two I left out, like the unusual Canon RF 5.2mm f2.8 or interesting RF 800mm f11. What crazy lens would you like Canon to come up with next? Let me know in the comment section below and God bless everyone, ciao for now.